What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. For those of you that follow the channel, you know I've been pretty critical in regards to this baby here, the iPhone 14 series, specifically my Pro Max here. And as you guys can see, the battery life's been trash. Battery health is at 89%. This wasn't unique to just my model. There's a whole slew of other users' comments online that you can see how bad the battery degradation has been even on our other 14 Pro model that never hardly gets used, aside from recording some videos for you guys and doing little things here and there, has dropped to 94%. We're not even at its one year mark yet. This is kind of incredibly bad, right? Um, but having said all that, we have some hope for improved battery capacities and hopefully battery charging with the iPhone 15 series. That just got rumored the other day. Normally I wouldn't do a whole video on this and rumor certain features as minimal as battery capacity, but there's such substantial increases, I think it warrants talking about. So as you guys can see in the chart here, quite a few differences coming up. The iPhone 15 Pro is gonna have a 14% bigger battery capacity. It's gonna go from 3200 to 3650 milliamps. The 15 Pro Max is rumored to go from, or to get a 12% bigger battery and go from 4323 to 4852 milliamps. And if you guys remember the 15, the 14 Pro Max actually dropped from the 13 Pro Max, sub not substantially, but just a few uh, MAHs. Then you have the 15 base at 18% increase from 3279 to 3877 milliamp hours. And the 15 plus is gonna get a 14% bigger battery at 4325 to 4912. The Plus is actually going to have the largest battery capacity of all the devices, even extending over the Pro Max. Beyond that, the 15 and 15 Plus will get a new A16 Bionic chip based off the same 5 nanometer manufacturing process, but the 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max will get that new A17 Bionic chip based off of a 3 nanometer manufacturing process. We currently have 14 series devices, not the Pro or Pro Max that charge at, I think it's around 25 watts, and the Pro Max will charge at up to 27 watts. Not fast charging by any means, so we're hoping to see a better increase in that as well, especially with USB-C rumored as well to be part of these devices. What I don't understand is the battery degradation within a year of usage to be under, to, to in, move over 10% already, it's pretty crazy to me. I wanna know in the comments down below, do you guys have a substantial issue with battery health as well? How bad is your battery at right now with your 14 series or even something you've had for over a year like 13 series? Let us know, I mean, this seems pretty excessive, uh, at least as far as what we would believe it to be. But aside from that, like I said, I'm hoping these new devices this year that are coming in only a couple months now uh, are really, really an improvement to battery health based off this three nanometer technology. It should be optimized because that new chip, um, the five nanometer and the three nanometer technology, it just, the it, it's how far the transi transistors are apart, right? So less distance saves battery consumption between that and updates to the software optimization in the next iOS version that we're obviously beta testing now as well. Hopefully this will help maintain our battery health, give us solid performance, and hopefully this new chip will help sip battery uh, and give us much better battery life during the day. Let us know in the comments down below what you think. Quick short video for you guys, just wanted to touch base on this. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.